Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Inside the Mind where we talk about online marketing strategy, what it is, why it's important, and why you should care. In the last episode, we talked about destroying images to make way for new media and how it's improved sales and engagement for other businesses. And before that, we talked about why customer experience matters with Stephen Allen of Zappos. You can find each of those episodes by going here and here. And today we're going to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart, which is brand character, the core of your online presence. Now, the way most people go about starting an online business is like this. Build a website, fill it with content, jump into the social web, then go, uh, and your customers go, uh, 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 until somebody gives up. It's usually the business. See, most people are so wrapped up in just getting their online business launched that they get lost in all the technical details. Technical details like creating a blog, finding a theme, writing content, creating a product, doing keyword research, but the thread that ties it all together and makes it cohesive and brings it home for your customers tends to get lost in the mix and becomes an afterthought at best. And it's not just small businesses either. Brands like Cisco and Cheetos have seen this happen too, but more on that in a second. It's time to bring brand character to the forefront. And brand character stems from your understanding of your market so well that your brand starts to actually embody the traits that your customers hope to see in you. Brand character is an evolution of brand identity. It is more than your logo and typeface and tagline. It's what turns a brand into a living, breathing entity that is allowed to coexist and interact with real people in a social setting. It is what makes your company likable. It's about playing to a particular emotion in your customer and being able to invoke that whenever they see you. If somebody asked you to describe your brand identity, your brand personality, what would you be? Are you an up attribute? Are you something that gets the blood flowing? Are you more of a down attribute? Are you something that's a little more calm, reserved, conservative? Up attributes are things like being playful, being fresh, like the Fresh Prince, contemporary, adventurous, edgy or daring like Errol Flynn, nimble or agile, profane, domineering, magical or mystical like Gandalf? Or are you more of a down attribute? Are you mindful, sophisticated like 007? Are you established, traditional, nurturing, protective, empathetic like the Oprah? Are you reliable, stable, familiar, safe, secure, sacred, contemplative, or wise like the Dalai Lama or Yoda? Hint, it's all about how your customers perceive you. If your existing character is weak or appealing to the wrong crowd, you can and must change it to be relevant again. Olson, Zaltman & Associates had a similar problem when Cheetos needed help redeveloping their brand character. Throughout its 60-year history, Cheetos had advertised to kids and families. Chester Cheetah, introduced in 1986, was a real cool cat as long as he had his Cheetos. Otherwise, he became depraved and a little crazy and would go to enormous lengths to get his Cheetos snacks. Shouldn't there be some sort of safety measure? That's just humiliating. Wow. Dangerously cheesy. Everything was great for Cheetos until 2007 when other cheese snack competitors started spending more on their ads and the company lost 2% in their household penetration. It also made it worse when their parent company PepsiCo signed an agreement that said they would no longer advertise unhealthy products to children under 12. This forced the company to reevaluate its 60 year growth strategy and appeal to a new demographic if they wanted to stay relevant. To say that the risks were enormous would be a huge understatement. And to up the ante just a little bit more, the company had also had to increase their sales by 6.4% to make up for lost time. Olson Zaltman, the firm in charge of redefining Cheetos brand, had set out on this risky quest by doing something novel. He started talking to the customers. They interviewed parents, adult non-parents, and children aged 10 to 13 who all ate Cheeto snacks at least once a week to discover what exactly the Cheetos experience was all about. What they discovered was that both groups felt relatively stressed and anxious in the face of life's demands, but consuming Cheeto snacks gives them moments of escape and refuge by inspiring playfulness and mischief. They found out that adults were looking for permission to not act their age and not conform to expectations of adult behavior. That smiles and orange fingers were brandished proudly like a badge of honor. So for Cheetos, what started out as this and my funky jive became this. You know, other people are trying to do their laundry too. Felicia. 
Those are her whites in the dryer. The result? According to IRI, Cheetos sales increased by 11.3%, almost double the target rate of 6.4%, and their core product, the Cheetos that you see in the commercial, had an increase in sales by 14.4%. The reason I share this with you is in a world where there are 60 hours of YouTube video uploaded every minute, 290 million tweets per month, and 4 billion items shared on Facebook every day, your ability to connect with people on a one-on-one -on -one level is the most powerful outlet that you can use to connect with your market and really stand out to them. So tell me, what would an embodiment of your brand look like? Please leave your creative or interesting responses in the comments below, or on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. And if you subscribe via email by going to this link right here, you can be the first to know when the next video comes out and get exclusive bonus goodies. Thanks so much for watching.